My name is Ola Mede Obajini. I'm a partner in the law firm of Ola Niwaja ELP, a leading law firm in Nigeria and in the UK. If you look at um, valuation in itself, it doesn't just stand alone. The IFRS, which is the standard for financial reporting, actually welcome professionals such as surveyor to undertake valuation when necessary in respect to reporting in the financial statement. The standard is aware that accountants do not have that skill and competence to conduct valuation and recognizes the position of the valuers, uh, the professional valuers in valuing assets for the purposes of reporting in the financial statement. Asset valuation is really important and it's important to say that it aligns with the provisions of the accounting standard as a function of the model in which an entity has adopted for the purpose of recognition and measurement of its assets in its books. If, a, if an entity has adopted the cost model, then they might not need uh, for a yearly revaluation of the asset of that entity. However, there may be instances for revaluation or evaluation, let me use the word valuation, in some instances where the entity observed that certain assets within its books must have been impaired. And according to IAS 36, an, an entity must not carry in its books an asset at a value that is more than the recoverable value of that asset. So for the purpose of determining the recoverable amount of an asset, it is important that evaluation is conducted to examine the extent of impairment that may have arisen on that particular asset. So you cannot remove the importance of valuation with respect to when you are using the cost model, in respect to when you are checking for impairment, and also when you are using the evaluation method with respect to IS 16 PPE or using fair value model when it comes to IS 40 investment property. The IFRS is clear from a, I will look at it from a financial reporting perspective. And from the, if you look at IFRS 13, which is like the foundation of fair value measurements for financial reporting purpose, it's clear on what the fair value of an asset is. It says that the fair value of an asset is the price in which you buy an asset or the price at which a liability is settled. Between particip particip participants you know, that are knowledgeable about the transaction at a measurement date. So really, fair value is as easy as it should be from a financial reporting perspective. Just that the financial reporting uh, I IFRS 13 also recognizes certain models for the conduct of uh, valuation, which is the cost model, the income approach, and the market approach.